Hi, my name is Annie Campbell, and today I'm going to show you a Photoshop tutorial on how you can easily add digital color to your hand-drawn illustrations. We're going to be using the illustration of one of our third-year medical students, Callum McMillan, who is creating these illustrations for an educational animation on child development. What Callum has done is created these illustrations in pencil and outlined them in ink. He's then scanned them using our library scanner, and now I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this. Now let's get started. First, let's create a new canvas by going to File, New. We want to make sure we have a large enough canvas and my suggested settings are 3000 by 3000 pixels, set to a resolution of 300 dpi. Make sure that the color mode is RGB and click OK. Now we're going to place the scan files by going to File, Place Linked. If your file comes in at the wrong orientation, you can rotate it by holding down SHIFT as you drag it into place. Hit ENTER on your keyboard to place. Let's rename your layer as Outline. Now I'm going to zoom in on the image for the next part. To zoom in and out, you can hold the CTRL and plus and minus key. To move around the canvas, hold down the spacebar and click and drag. Let's color adjust your scan. First, create a new adjustment layer and select Levels. You'll see a new adjustment window pop up now. Select the white eyedropper, and we're going to use that to white balance the image. Click on the areas of the white paper that is a little darker to make it brighter. By doing this, we're quickly getting rid of the value shifts in the scan. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that, so let's close out the floating window. Now we want the levels adjustment layer to only affect the outline layer. To do this, hold down your ALT key and hover your cursor in between the two layers. You'll notice a symbol change. Click when the symbol changes and now you have your levels adjustment only affecting the outline layer. Now let's mask out the scan background. First select your outline layer and we're going to add a mask by going to Layer, Layer Mask, Reveal All. You'll now see a white box appear in your outline layer. Select the Polygon Lasso tool and let's make an outline around the area we want to get rid of. Select the Paint Bucket tool. Make sure that your foreground color is set to black and click on the selected area you want to get rid of. Hit Ctrl D on the keyboard to deselect and check it out. The illustration is looking good. I'm just going to center it a little. Let's clean up our layers by shift selecting them all and dragging them to the folder icon at the bottom of the layer panel. Rename the group outline and change it to multiply. Now we're ready to add some color. Let's create a new layer and rename it color. Now if you're like me and have trouble coming up with good color combinations, I like to use cooler to find a color combination I like. So I found this one earlier, and what I'm going to do is copy the hex code and insert that into the color palette. I'll tap B on my keyboard and bring up the brush tool, and draw the color swatch for easier reference. I'm going to repeat the process for all of the colors. Okay, so now I have my reference colors easily accessible. I'm going to begin painting. By tapping I on the keyboard, I can use the eyedropper tool to pick the color I want for my brush. Then with my brush selected, I can begin coloring. I'm going to speed up this part of the video so you can see my color process. As I color, I use a combination of keyboard hotkeys, and here they are for easier reference.
And that's about it. When you're done, you can erase your color swatches. Now let's quickly save your Photoshop file, and really you should be saving as you go. Now let's save out a PNG file so that's easier to insert into an animation. And that's about it! Check out Cal's final animation on child development, it's a fantastic educational resource. The link is available in the description below. And thanks for watching you guys!